Welcome to my full review of the Unihertz Atom Large. I've used this phone for two months. I've enjoyed using it. Will I recommend it for someone to get it? Absolutely yes. Stay tuned. This phone, it's a rugged phone. I did the unboxing, so if you have, if you have not seen it, you can check the link and watch it. So I'm not doing the full review because I already did that. This is after using it for two months. I just want to give my feedback of how it is. I promise to do that. So how is the phone? Well, let's talk about the features quickly. Um, it's a very good phone. Like I said, on the front of the phone, you have the top speaker for phone calls and the selfie camera is an eight megapixel selfie camera. It takes okay pictures. Um, at the bottom here you have the fingerprint scanner which works very well every time so it's just very good absolutely no problem every time it works um, and then of course it's got the back button and the recently opened app button here so it works the screen is smooth it's not as smooth as you see but it's it's smooth it's a very good phone it does everything you want no problem moves smoothly as you can see so it works okay the screen is good on the right hand side here you have the volume rocker to increase the volume up and down and you have the power button nothing else on the right hand side on the left you have the SIM card tray which includes uh, the tray for two SIM cards or a SIM card and a memory card so that's good so it's got expandable memory you can put any memory card you've got the internal memory is 128 gig for this actually 128 gig of internal memory and you can expand it as you want also on the left hand side it's got this red programmable button that you can program to open any app to do anything you want you can program it with up to three different options so i have programmed it so that uh, a long press will put on my touch light Okay, long press for the touch light. Single press will activate the, will get a screenshot. So you can see, I have a screenshot. Very good. And uh, double press will activate the Google Assistant. Your phone's in flight mode, so I can't help you with that at the moment. Thank you, Google. So, okay, so you can program to do anything you want with this. It's very nice to have it. I think it's a common feature now in almost all the rugged phones you have one or two programmable buttons on the side which comes in very handy at the back of the phone you have the 48 megapixel main shooter it takes okay pictures i mean you won't expect a picture in the same quality as the sony xperia 1 uh, mac 2 or mac 3 that's coming up or the iphone 12 pro max or things like that but it's it's an okay picture the 48 megapixel shooter and of course the touch light and then at the bottom here you have the speaker single speaker so this is not a stereo speaker this is a single speaker that's why i like my sony because that comes always with a stereo speaker i just to say something about this speaker if you're, if you're thinking of getting this phone it's an ip68 phone you can wash it you can go diving with it but be careful with that now because i've observed i watch the phone regularly but i've observed that sometimes when you wash it you've got water going into the speaker grill here and the sound is not good until you blow it off or let it dry before you can get good sound so something to take note of Unihertz seem to do better with that because it's supposed to be IP68 water and dust resistant okay on the top of the phone it's got this infrared um, sensor here so basically you can use this as a remote you can there's an app that comes with it you can set it to control your appliances to, to operate like a remote control so i use it for my air conditioners my tv to change the channels to put it on and off uh, anything you can program it it's very it works i i use it and on the bottom it's got the 3.5 mm jack thankfully and it works well and then a usb c for charging now this is not the fastest charger it comes with an 18 watt charger uh but it charges okay one or two hours and you and you get a good battery to use Talking about battery life, it's uh, it's good. I don't use the phone to watch Netflix or things like that. It's supposed to be my second phone. So for me, it works two to three days without a charge. It's 
that's that's what it does for me two to three days normally i'll charge my phones every night but i can do three days on this one but that's because like i said i don't use it very often very hard so if you want to use this as your main phone you're playing games on it you're watching um, videos on it maybe it will take you at least it will take you the whole day so it's a good battery it's a 4000 milliamp hour battery so from my use the battery is okay no problem with the battery lasts you easily the whole day for me two to three days okay that's the features on this phone around it um, it's a bit heavy it's over 200 gram but you would expect that from any rugged phone so it's not abnormally heavy it's just something to note I am not going to be using the phone I'm giving it out to someone after now because I wanted something smaller it's a bit too bulky for my second phone I like a miniature phone for my second phone so that's why I'm giving it out but for most people it will actually be too small because it's just a four inch screen that's small for a lot of people for me because it's my second phone I, I, I I'm okay with the four inch screen but it's just a bit too bulky around it for me storage is 120 gigabytes like I said six gigs of RAM the fingerprint scanner works okay I'm going through all the specs an Android 10 it works well for my daily use the app drawer and just an observation the app drawer usually for Android 10 you should be able to draw your apps from the bottom but it that doesn't work here you only draw the apps from the side okay doesn't work drawing the apps from the bottom I don't know why it, that's not it's not there so just to note but it works and the screen is smooth it works well no problem it's a good screen uh, battery life like I said is okay so will I recommend this phone to somebody yes just another thing to note before I go the Bluetooth it's 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 Bluetooth 4.2 that comes with it from the box but I notice sometimes when I'm playing the music in the car that the Bluetooth disconnects every now and then it's just these little glitches and it comes back so something to take note of I think the Bluetooth could be better um, yeah but will I recommend this phone for less than $300 absolutely yes it's a good steal it's it's got all the all the good spec the camera works okay the RAM is good it's fast it's okay so that is my review of it um, some of the accessories I, I have with it I that I bought with it is this carrying case and strap that I use when I go to the gym so yeah strap it on my shoulder and run on the gym it's it works okay like I said it's a bit bulky you have to be mindful of that that it's a bit bulky but it's okay yeah so that is the 2020 at home large it's a good phone that's all I can say thank you for watching and I've got more reviews to do immediately now so keep in touch subscribe to the channel like the videos and see you in the next one